All right, all right. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope each and every one of you are having a absolutely amazing Friday so far. Uh, forgive my, <laughs> forgive my dog. She's just a little, little, little nervous right now, but that's absolutely perfect. There you go. All right, she's calm now. All right, everybody. It is the weekend. It is after <clears throat> the market. Uh, well, really after I trade, kind of hours. So what well, were we done? We're done with day fifty-two, which. Whew, Day 50 plus days of the journey just kind of goes by like that if you uh, if you really think about it. Hey, SP always forward. Pleasure having you on. What's up? What's up? Hope you're having a absolutely amazing week so far and about to have an absolutely amazing weekend. But yeah, it is. Wow. If we really think about it. Saludos. Saludos. Thank you. Thank you. Gracias. Um... Mi Espanol it is terrible, so uh, forgive me if I can't speak it that well. That is a definitely on the bucket list. I must go ahead and make sure I get that taken care of on uh, my uh, my accord. Thank you, hermano. Gracias, hermano. Gracias. Uh, so, man, if we really want to go ahead and think about it, you know, we're getting close to Thanksgiving. We're getting close to... Uh, November 20 was I think November 24th is Thanksgiving Rosetta Stone okay we'll check that out that's gonna let me go ahead and write that let me go ahead and write that down on my on my phone actually you know what I could do I could just do a little screenshot just like this there you go that's you know what that's what I there we go there we go see that's the beauty of technology all I need to go ahead and do is just screenshot stuff whenever it gets thrown at me I'm like ah yes I can go ahead and remember that for later but in terms of <laughs> in terms of wanting to, what I wanted to go ahead and talk about, so it is pretty incredible. This is actually going to be my last days here in uh, Colorado. I'll actually be going back to New York uh, this Monday, uh, so that's going to be very exciting. But really, want to but uh, as far as all that is concerned, so as you can see, or as you can kind of hear, as you can kind of gauge potentially, I've been a uh, a little bit uh, over the place, if you will. You know, I've gotten a lot of amazing things done, amazing things left to do uh, before the day is up. And I figured this would be just a quick little reminder for everybody that in terms of, because we all go through what well, this particular period and what I like to call like a, a like a storm, if you will. You're, you're, you're sort of in what I like to call the eye of the storm. And I know that from experience for me, it means, you know, I've got so many things on my plate and so much to do, you know, whether it be trading or whether it be something for the podcast or something, or whether I have to journal, whether I have to self-educate, whether I have to help somebody in terms of getting their questions answered and all of this beautiful stuff. It could be when you think about it, when you first wake up, if you got all this noise, right? <laughs> If you got all of this noise just in your vicinity, in your center, it could be a lot. It could be daunting. It could be overwhelming. It could be like, you know what? Let me just throw in the towel and, and try again the next day. But I offer this perspective because I've been there and I certainly have done that. I have talked about this once or twice before, but I feel it's very important to go ahead and really get back into the principle of what I like to call Kaizen, one step at a time, one hour at a time, one minute at a time. Because I, I know from experience when you got all this, what I like to call the mental to-do list in your head, it could feel like a lot. It could feel like, whoa, I got to go ahead and do this, and then I got to go ahead and do this, and then I can go ahead and do this. And it doesn't feel so great when your mind is just constantly being weighed down by the things you put into your head. You think about the future, you get anxious, overwhelmed about the future, rather than making sure that you take care of the present. You know, we're staying in present time consciousness. And, you know, I can go ahead, and I'm not here to pat myself on the back, but I'm, I'm mad, I want everyone to gauge, excuse me, I want everyone to gauge my perspective when I talk about this. You know, today, I woke up at 4.30, like I normally do. I went ahead and I listened to my 20-minute audio meditation. 
like I normally do. I went ahead and I made coffee for myself. Bustelo coffee. It's the best dang coffee in the world. Anybody argues with me, they're absolutely wrong. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I love Bustelo coffee. I went ahead and I took about five hours out of my day to trade. I took about an hour to go ahead and help somebody get their trading questions, their trading setup answered. I went ahead then and I uploaded that vi the session, day 52, onto YouTube. I went ahead and I made a social media post about it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And then I went ahead and I took care of a few hassle chores. I went ahead and I went to my dishwasher, put some stuff away. I went ahead and I took a shower because I looked uh, like, a, uh, like a slob, so I had to go ahead and get that taken care of. And yes, if I laid it out just like that, it's a lot. It could be a lot for somebody to think about doing all that at once. But again, I remind everybody, and even trying to do a live video, especially with those who are not comfortable doing live videos, again, it is a lot. It could be a lot to do, and I can certainly understand how overwhelming life can be sometimes. Hey, Nick, hope you're having an amazing day. But I know how overwhelming sometimes life can be when we think about just everything all at once. And so I encourage you, I implore that you take whatever you have to do for the remainder of the day today, whatever it is that you have to do, instead of thinking about it all at once, just focus on what I like to call the present moment ahead of you. Think about, again, I'm grateful to be put in a position where I've got a lot of things that I can do, because in my opinion, I'd rather be busy than be idle. But at the same time, think about what I'm presently doing right now and how come I'm grateful to be in that particular position. Because a lot of the time what we don't do is, and I, and I know this from experience, I will go ahead, I get something done, and I say, okay, I gotta focus now on the next thing without taking a moment to celebrate the fact that I got something important done. No, I took a moment to go ahead and celebrate the fact that day 52 of the Forex trading journey is up on YouTube. I went ahead and I celebrated the fact that I helped somebody with their trading setup today. I'm going to take a moment to celebrate the fact that this live video is out there to the public and I'll go ahead and work on editing and re-uploading that later. Uh, that's kind of my uh, little bit of a strategy right there that I do for content purposes, but that's not the point right here. That's not what we're talking about. The main point I'm trying to get across to everybody is instead of thinking about the whole elephant think about celebrating the fact that you're tackling the day the elephant or the day in your life one task at a time one piece at a time and if you can't get everything done that's completely perfect because the you the universe in my opinion your maker whatever it is that uh, do you believe in? And again, we're all very open to spirituality, very open to all religions. I believe that the things that you can get done at this particular day are done because there was a certain purpose to it. Perhaps maybe you couldn't get everything done on your schedule today because there was something else or there was another purpose or there was another what I like to call meeting, to not necessarily getting that one thing you couldn't get done today, but perhaps get done at a later time. And the more we go ahead and we understand and we give ourselves the grace to not feel bad about getting not getting this one thing done or not focusing on getting this one thing done, when you got everything else on your schedule done, when we focus on what's right and what is not wrong, then that is the beauty of it all. It's the beauty of life. It's being able to know that you are playing your part. You are contributing your role to your ultimate destiny, your ultimate desire, one step at a time. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and celebrate the fact that this live video is out there. I'm gonna celebrate that I had a couple of amazing people join in on the live chat. And I'm gonna go ahead and celebrate and then get back to what needs to get done, what the next step is for me. So with that being said, everybody, I hope each and every one of you have a amazing rest of your day, amazing weekend. And before we go, I have three very important statements I desire to submit to you. I desire you to be great. I desire you to be favored. And I desire for you to be the person you desire and that you're destined to become. Thank you.